Hey there besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gigi and I am really tired and I'm having a hard time getting through this video. We're just gonna put that out there right now because maybe if I just say it out loud, communicate that with my besties, then I can get through this moment of tiredness but still wanting to make a video, okay? This morning I got up at 2.30, I went to bed at 11.30, I got up at 2.30. I went and did laundry. Uh, it opens at 6, so I just powered through and I went and did laundry. I really wanted to go back to bed, but it's going to be a hundred and some odd godly number today. And I needed laundry done. I wanted clean sheet day, and so we went. And um, I did come home and s sleep for like two more hours, but that's not going to cut it and I'm tired. So I'm going to go ahead and keep the video really light and happy today because yesterday's video, well, I really felt was important and was awesome. Um, it was a little on the heavier side. So let's just entertainment out today. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a couple things that have happened or come out or what have you. Uh, the first thing that I watched yesterday was the Boys Season 2 trailer. Oh, it looks so good. And what they really showed you, what they were really focusing on, is the backstory of uh, Homelander. And if you've not, if you've not seen the, the first season, go la 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 and then get your butt over to Amazon Prime and watch that shit because totally worth it. Um, <clears throat> I am super, super excited to see the next season. I loved The Boys. I really expected to love it because of Carl Urban, but I actually ended up loving it because of everybody in it. So again, big recommend from me on The Boys and I'm super excited about season two. The second thing I want to talk about is the Spidey thing. I'm really bummed out about this. I'd really love to see him straddling both, so to speak. I, I want to keep him in the MCU and I want to see him in the Venom movies. So, and having said that, I'm not the hugest fan of that Venom movie. I thought Tom Hardy was great. I thought the actual telling of the story was great. My biggest problem was that the CGI felt incomplete and rushed and I don't know for at this point in in moviedom my expectations for G CGI are pretty fucking high and if you're expecting me to buy characters like Venom and the other symbiotes um you're going to have to put in a little more effort than that I'm sorry so that's my big problem. Actually, I've watched Venom a couple of times and I do like the movie, but every time I see the CGI, especially like that chasey scene and stuff, I'm like, oh God. And I know maybe I'm just being a bitch, but I don't know. My expectations are pretty high. I really do enjoy superhero, science fiction, horror, and all of the genres. So I've seen a lot of really good stuff. I mean, even like that Jungle Book movie, and trust me, I'm not all about the Disney remakes, and I don't think you can call a movie live action if it's CGI. To me, that's not live action. Um, how, having said that, I think it's a beautiful movie. I've not watched really any of the others because I just don't like kid movies that much. Some I do, don't get me wrong, I would sit down and watch Little Mermaid right now, even as problematic as that movie is. So, um, the third thing that came out that I watched yesterday was that American Horror Story trailer. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this season. I hope that it is good. And I have said this on the channel before, I'm only about a half a fan of American Horror Story. Um, there are certain seasons that I love, a couple seasons I'm okay with, and some seasons that I think are actual shit. So before the series starts, I will do a comprehensive rundown. All right, 
a very short rundown, not comprehensive because we would be here for days, a very short rundown of the seasons that I liked and didn't like and why. <clears throat> so look forward to that video coming oh, very soon. Okay, oh, there was some crazy singing right there. Sorry about that. Or you're welcome. Now, to the last topic of the day. I just finished watching last night a show I should have watched when it came out in June. Somehow it escaped my notice. I need to put like a horror TV show alert on or something on my Google. I don't know because how I missed this show, I, I do not know. We're going to give you a quick mini review because it's 10 episodes and once I was about halfway through it, I kind of wished that I had done a... a, a show by show review because it's just so awesome but i didn't and so here we are we're just going to talk about it really quick and get this video over with we're six minutes in now so let's see how quick we can get this done the show is starring zachary quinto if you do not know who that is if you're a trekkie he is uh he plays spock in the new star trek if you are one of those people who think the new star trek movies aren't trek bite me um as kindly as i can say it <laughs> and um because i absolutely adore those movies and if you like the, the show heroes he is siler on that show the one that actually steals everyone's powers all the time um i'm gonna pause you for one second sorry about that i need all of a sudden i needed to blow my nose you know i can't have a video where i either i'm sweating or my nose is running Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Okay, so Zachary Quinto, he is amazing in almost everything he does. Honestly, I'm trying to think of anything. Uh, he's also been in American Horror Story. He was the one of the he was that doctor dude in the one where they were in the asylum, the asylum one. Um, so he's just good. He's have I ever seen him in something I didn't like him in? I I can't think of anything. So we've also, the main girl is named Ashley Cummings, and she is pretty good. Um, she's got a couple of things that she falls back on far too frequently, especially later in the show where, I don't want to do a lot of spoilers or anything, okay? But this is just an acting choice that she's making. She's got this face that she makes where she's like, super confused and freaked out about what's going on and that's fine fine but she relies on that look too much the rest of the time like there are moments where I'm like really impressed with her acting um but that look was really driving me crazy so uh, that's all I'm going to say about her she's really good though and I enjoyed her she plays Vic McQueen Zachary plays Charlie Manx and he is the bad guy what it is, the show centers around the idea that there are certain people called strong creatives. I don't know why I went with this, but that's what they're calling it. And they're people who can bring their thoughts into reality. They can bridge that, okay? And um, Zachary, uh, a.k.a. Charlie Manx, he uses that to stay young. He kidnaps children from people that he uses excuses to justify why their parents are bad and he should steal these kids. But basically what he's doing is stealing their little souls and their life ess essences. It, as he drives them to Christmas land, which is his, the place that he has pulled into reality from his thoughts. They call those places their inscape, okay? And you need a tool to get you to your inscape and his tool is his car it's a rolls royce um wraith and that's what they always call it the wraith and the car and he are intrinsically linked the car is healthy charlie is healthy if the car suffers charlie suffers and if charlie isn't constantly feeding on a child he is aging so he's vampiring from these children, but it doesn't kill the children. It turns them into little monsters and he takes them to Christmas land where they play hideous games with anyone who's on Charlie's 
naughty list because he is Father Christmas to the children. Vic learns of him through another strong creative. Uh, her name is Maggie. She is so, so interesting. I absolutely love her character. Um, and basically what happens is Vic and Maggie team up to battle Charlie. I don't want to get any further into it. There is so much about this show. It is half teen angsty drama and half creepy horror-esque show. And I enjoyed almost every second of it. Uh, I'm going to give you a really quick 1 to 10. Oh, God, it's so hard. I'm going to say 7.5. Let's go ahead and give it a 7.5. It's a very solid show. Is it perfect? No. Are there moments where you're like, Aah. yes. Most of the time I was like this, just ready for the next moment to happen. And it was really hard for me not to stay up all night long watching this show. I really, really enjoyed it. I would highly recommend you check it out. I think it's available on Amazon Prime and I think it's available on Shudder or one or the other, something like that. So check it out there. Uh, if you need to, you know, borrow an account from a friend or something, whatever you got to do, check out this show. You are really, really going to like it. I loved it a lot. Okay, so that's where we're going to leave this episode for today. This episode, I don't really want to call it episodes. I guess it's just a vlog, and that is an episode because I am numbering them. And, oh, by the way, I'm pretty sure that today is like 199 or something and that makes tomorrow my 200th vlog of 2019 which means let let me stop talking and start verifying the numbers coming out of my mouth this is vlog 199 guys so tomorrow is vlog 200 oh my god 200 I'm not sure what we're going to talk about, but we will talk about something. I'm, I'm assuming it'll be tomorrow. Maybe it'll be Thursday, but the next vlog will be vlog 200. 100 more to go after that, guys. I'm, wow, this challenge has been awesome, okay? It's been difficult, don't get me wrong, but it has been so awesome. Thank you for coming along for the ride. <laughs> I'm really, really grateful that you're here, and we will see you in vlog number 199. Oh!